Hey everyone, welcome to day six. Uh, we're just going to do some stretches today. Just uh, get our body all nice and uh, stretched out. So we're going to start uh, with our neck. So we're just looking uh, down to the left. Just feeling a nice stretch out there. You can give a tiny little gentle tug if, uh, if you want, just a nice little pull. You don't want to pull too hard on it. We're going to concentrate on holding our stretches for about 20 or 30 seconds today. And looking up, now looking down to the other side. Get a nice stretch down the back of the neck and the side of the neck. Hold it for just a little bit longer. And slowly bringing it back up. We're going to squeeze the shoulder blades up, or sorry, the shoulders up, and pull it back and down. So we're just going to squeeze and pull it back and down. And squeeze. Squeeze. We'll do a few more, and then we're going to reverse the direction and go forward. So really make sure that you're really squeezing it up and then pulling it back. We'll do one more. And back now we'll go other directions. So squeezing it and rolling it forward. Squeeze and curling and roll. Squeeze it up and roll it forward. more. And we'll bring the arm across the front. Just give it a gentle pull, stretching out that arm right through the shoulder. If you want a little bit extra pull, you can look the opposite way of the, the way that you're pulling. And you'll feel it a little bit further down in the shoulder and through the neck. And bring the head back, drop it down. We're going to switch over to the other side. Nice gentle pull. And then again, looking in the opposite direction that you're pulling to feel it a little bit deeper. stretch overhead and really, really reach. We want to reach up and away, not over. We're reaching up and away, reaching high with those fingertips. Uh, this arm can be here, it can be down the side, uh, whatever is most comfortable for you, but you want to focus on reaching high up towards the ceiling with this arm here. And we'll hold it for a few more seconds before we move over to the other side. And slowly coming back over, other side, reach up towards the ceiling and over. And breathing the whole time through. We're going to come down to the floor. So I want to do uh, some hip flexor stretches. So we're going to bring the one leg forward and making sure that you can still see your toes. So 90 degrees on that knee. You're going to plant your hands down. And if, if this is good here, then that's fine. Otherwise, we're going to come up and feel a deeper stretch. You feel it all the way in this leg. You can feel it down your whole other uh, leg at the back into the calf. We're just going to hold this stretch, nice straight leg at the back. We're going to bring our hands on the one side and we're going to come down a little bit deeper. And again, if you need to come down on your knee to come down a little bit deeper, that's fine. Um, but I'm going to 
try to hold my back leg nice and straight. And we're going to hold it for a few more seconds. And bringing that knee down. And bringing it back. We're going to go back into child's pose. So knees are slightly apart. We're going to go back onto that bum. Arms are coming up overhead. And you're putting that head right between the shoulder blades and you're pushing your head down into the floor. Do a nice stretch through the back, right through your hips. And slowly walking it back up. We're going to bring our knees back together. We're going to move over to the other side. So leg forward. Again, checking that your knees not going over your toes. You can have split stance and coming up if you can. Nice straight leg at the back. And we're going to hold it. And then we're going to bring both hands on one side. Come a little bit deeper. If you can come down all the way down to your elbows, that's great. But if you can't, then just holding it up higher is fine. And again, if you need to come down on your knee, then that is great. So we're going to hold it here a few more seconds. And we're going to put the knee down. Back onto our hands if you're on your knees. Bring this opposite knee back. We're going to go back into child's pose again. So separating the knees, sitting back on those ankles, arms up overhead, planting the hand, really pushing it through, and breathing deep. From here, we're going to come up a little bit. We're going to keep our legs in the same position. We're going to bring uh, this arm through underneath so our palm is facing up. And you're going to come down. So you're going to feel a nice stretch right through uh, the shoulder here. So we're going to just laying down on that. And remember to breathe the whole time we're doing these stretches. Hold it for a few more seconds. And slowly coming up, switching hands. So now this hand's going to come underneath, and you're stretching right over. Palm is up. And laying right down on that arm. Continue to breathe. And from here we'll come up nice and slow. So we're just going to do some seated stretches now. We're going to put our legs in a V. We're going to pull our toes towards us. We're going to inhale. And on the exhale we're coming down into the center. And we're going to slowly walk our hands out to meet over to our toes if you can reach them. And slowly walking up, deep breath in, turning. On the exhale, we're coming down. You want to make sure that your uh, sit bones are planted down the whole time. You don't want to be lifting up on one side when you're reaching over to the other. Hold this and slowly coming up, deep breath in, twisting and on the exhale we're coming down towards those toes. So same thing, make sure both of your uh, butt cheeks are on the ground. Just come down far enough so that you're feeling the stretch but it's, it's not hurting, this shouldn't hurt. It should feel, uh, it should feel nice and enjoyable.
We just want to elongate all those muscles that we worked all week. And continue to breathe while you're holding your stretches. And slowly coming back up. We're going to bring the soles of the feet together. And we're just going to gently push down on those knees. And again, focusing on your breathing. So you should be breathing.